We are one week away from WrestleMania, but tonight it's all about TakeOver. Hello everybody, I am Obi-Wan, yes that Obi-Wan, and welcome to NXT TakeOver. Fantastic show for you tonight. The NXT Cruiserweight Championship is on the line, as well as the NXT Tag Team Titles, but we kick things off with the ladies of NXT. And this is for the NXT Women's Championship. This is a ladder match. All members of Platinum Plus, all members of the Agents are going at it. As we are kicking things off with the leader of Platinum Plus and Christina Platinum. And you see ladders around the ring and around the ring signed area. Again, almost ladder almost took out Christina Platinum. And again, you just have to think about the dangers of a ladder match and especially dealing with the ladies of NXT. And from Beverly Hills, California, Sam. I think that experience also plays a factor dealing with the ladder match. None of these ladies are very experienced with the ladder. I guess the only exception is probably Andrea, just for the fact that she is so tall, and she might as well just go up and just grab it by her bare hands. But nonetheless, it's good to see Sam, as well as the rest of the agents. Again, she was the last lady in the Women's Royal Rumble before being eliminated by the Nightmare. I mean, let's face it, she still didn't stand a chance, but still, Last person in the Royal Rumble for the ladies. And from Richmond, Virginia, she is probably the wild card in all of this. Dealing with Platinum Plus. I mean, she didn't come out to Platinum Plus music. You know, it's a different theme. Again, you have to look out for Crystal. Platinum. Although it's kind of a ruse given the fact that, you know, back at Philadelphia, it was always a plot to get the NXT Women's Championship off of Andrea the Giant. Didn't work, unfortunately, but still. Their mission is clear it's to get the NXT Women's title off of Andrea the Giant. And it's only fitting that Clover came out after Crystal because they had beef going all the way back to when the Ages debut about a month ago. And this rivalry between Clover and Crystal Platinum is heating up very intensely. I, I really would like to see moving forward the continuation between those two ladies on NXT. You know, just a few weeks ago we had Crystal facing Clover with Alex at ringside, but Crystal picked up the victory over Clover. So again, the ties between Platinum Plus and the Agents go this far back. And again, we can't wait to see more on NXT dealing with the women's NXT title. The muscle of Platinum Plus dealing with Cameron Danielson, Cameron Platinum, however you want to call her, okay? I mean, she is the only one that can probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Andrea the Giant. Again, you want to talk about an upset. I think Cameron Danielson, Cameron Platinum will probably have the advantage tonight, even over somebody like a Crystal Platinum. Beverly Hills, California, Alex. 
Again, probably the most athletic one out of the agents and Alex. Again, her tag team along with Clover against Sydney and Crystal Platinum a few weeks ago. She is a future contender, not only in the NXT Women's Division, but also on the main roster in WWE. This should be fun and excited to see her with very little experience dealing in a ladder match. Again, the smallest one in Platinum Plus, but still, a pinfall victory over the NXT Women's Champion. And again, it was a great plan and a great strategy to get Crystal Platinum away from Platinum Plus, just so that we can add a new member in Sydney Platinum. And I mean, either way you look at it, 4 over 3 every single time dealing with Platinum Plus and the Agents. I was actually surprised because again, we haven't seen the NXT Women's Champion all month. And again, dealing with what's going on between the agents and Platinum Plus. This should be very exciting. Again with Andrea, the NXT Women's Championship isn't around her waist, it is suspended above the ring. Again, this is a ladder match, kicking off NXT TakeOver New Orleans and again, uh, again, all she has to do is just reach for the title and she will be alright. I, I know it's kind of over dramatic but still, that's what you have to do. You have to grab the title, you have to remove the title and you are the new NXT Women's Champion. And again, could this be one and done with Andrea? As she moves on to greater things on the main roster. And so here we go. This is going to get wild and chaotic. And Andrea already going for Sydney Platinum, trying to go for a choke slam. I never said it was going to be a merry-go-round between the agents and Platinum Plus as we've seen Clover and Sam going at it. You know, we have Alex and Crystal Platinum. Andrea with Sydney Platinum and down goes the champion. And then we also have Cameron Danielson and Christina Platinum going at it. And head first into the apron. Apron. There we go. It's going to be one of those nights where I just can't words. As Sam now back into the inside of the ring. On the outside is Andrea and Sydney Platinum. And look at Sydney. And what a reverse into a reverse DDT. Good knife face chop by Sam. And what's Clover going to do right now? As Clover up in a position and caught up on the ropes. And here comes Clover. And what a drop kick taking down Sam. And Christina Platinum and Cameron Platinum are going at it. Again, we still have Alex dealing with Crystal on the outside. And what a move by Crystal taking down Alex. And a nice whip by Sydney Platinum. Throwing the NXT. And what a right hand shot. Again, just getting a flashback. So take over. And what a right hand punch taking down Sydney Platinum again. Is now Clover dealing with a hot shot on Sam. And again, we, we still, you know, it's a ladder match and yet there are no ladders. I wonder how is that going to work out in the end. As again, Sydney Platinum 
keeping down the NXT Women's Champion. As now Sydney setting up, what is she doing? And what a Hurricane Rana! Again, all the strength of Sydney Platinum taking down the NXT. I say that now and she picks her right back up. Meanwhile, back at the inside of the ring, what a spear and the turnbuckle by the leader of Platinum Plus and a close line from hell. Cameron, all you have to do is get a ladder. Find a ladder. There we go. As now, Cameron picks up the first of what is many ladders in this match. And again, good reversal by Alex. As Alex now throws Crystal over the top rope. And what an insecurity taking down Crystal Platinum. As Sam now picking up the ladder. And what a move by Andrea the Giant with a power bomb on Clover. Alex trying to go with a heel kick off the top rope. Didn't pan out too good. And again, the history between Andrea and Clover going all the way back to the Women's Warrior Rumble. Again, the history between those two and a nice belly to belly overhead suplex. And now we have both leaders, both as Crystal now and Sam trying to get the ladder off of Crystal. And again, she now focused her attention back on Christina. And then back on Crystal. It's Crystal and complete control. And again, just chaos and division around ringside. Alex now focuses back on Sydney Platinum. And another sit down power bomb by the NXT. Wait a minute. She did it. Crystal Platinum is the new NXT Women's Champion. I know she can't believe it either, but again, we have a new NXT Women's Champion. What a opening to take over New Orleans as it's time for the NXT Tag Team Titles. Oh, what, you, you really not going to announce it, JoJo? Huh? Yeah, whatever. Nonetheless, Heavy Machinery debuting about a month ago they won a triple threat tornado tag match over the new day and Febreze yes I, I said Febreze because that's exactly what that team is it's Febreze you know it's it's ocean breeze that should be another good one nonetheless they are the number one contenders for the NXT tag team titles going up against the Street Profits, this should be a fun and exciting match. And will this team be on the same page tonight? As again, their tag titles are on the line. I mean, they look like a team tonight, so I mean, that's good. I don't know if it was a misfortunate accident, but still, they are the NXT Tag Team Champions. And again, let's take a look back two weeks ago. It was a standard tag team matchup between the Street Profits and Heavy Machinery. Again, let's hope that it's not going to be another miscommunication. As again, close lines back and forth knocking each other down. And it, because of this, Heavy Machinery picks up the victory and ensuring that they are the number one contenders for the NXT Tag Team Titles. I just know that there are greater things dealing with the Street Profits and their future as a tag team. Guessing that they still want that smoke guy, I guess. Or the Cups. And again, my, my test. Well, why is he still skipping to my loot? I have no idea. I have no idea why he's doing that, but still, this is going to be an amazing tag team matchup. And again, it's all about the NXT tag team titles. On the way 
into the ring at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Otis Dozovic and Tucker Nine Heavy Machinery. And their opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds, they are the NXT Tag Team Champions, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the Street Profits. Oh, now you can't announce. Uh, nonetheless, this is what it's all about. The NXT Tag Team Titles. This is a standard two-on-two -two matchup. Just like the one a few weeks ago. This should be good as the referee calls for the bell. And here we go. And a big body drop ticking down Angelo Dawkins. And again, is it heavy machinery's time? And again, going to that camel clutch. Again, just, just classic. Or is it the Steiner recliner? The Steiner might say something otherwise. Nonetheless, Angelo in position trying to go for, I guess, in a belly to belly. And it connects with a beautiful jawbreaker. And again, what, what is the man trying to do? Another big body drop ticking down one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. Punch to the gut. And then gut punches left and right. As Angelo now connects with the nice suplex. And the tag is made to Montez Four. It's four now. Trying to keep the big man down. I say that and then he gets back. He picks him back up. So I, I don't know anymore. I, I just don't understand this wrestling logic. But connects with a beautiful hip toss. And again Montez Four. Going with a twisting body splash. Keeping... Otis down and again I, I keep saying that and yet this happens as the tag made to Tucker Knight and Tucker now trying to go for something and a close line ticking down my test for and the referee uh, referee are you doing something thank you initiating the 10 count again multiple shots and head first into the apron. Again, you had to remember that the NXT Tag Team Champions can win on the countout. While they'll lose the match, they'll retain the titles. As Ford gets back into the inside of the ring, the referee breaks the 10 count. And Ford now setting up in position and connects with the DDT. Shades of the snake as Ford goes into the cover. Two and a kick out. Again, Ford getting the advantage and connects with a running bulldog. Good reversal by Knight getting on the fin and nice spinning heel kick taking down Tucker again. And again, this is just strategy. Again, I say that it's strategy and yet Tucker reverses. And again, going into the submission in a modified version of a camel clutch. Getting out of that predicament. It's for now. Trying to go for a knife edge chop. And then to the grapple by Tucker. And what a right hand punch taking down one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions. As Tucker now throws forward. And here comes Tucker. And a springboard into an elbow drop. Again, Tucker said enough for his finisher. Going for that overhead belly to belly. And it is all over as Tucker goes into the cover. And we have new NXT tag team champs know as Angelo Dawkins breaks up the count. And here we go. Ah, head holding. Is your head hold yet? And again, just like that, the advantage goes back to Heavy Machinery. Tag is made back to Otis. And a headbutt. Kind of unorthodox, but 
Again, I, I like it. And now Otis setting up. Oh, and here comes the big man. Can we do it? W O R. I missing the the M, but I like it. Good stuff. As Otis goes back into the cover, two and a kick out. Forward now, setting up, and going into a single leg Boston Crab, and again, will Otis tap out? It's Otis now, and again the leg strength of that man, and now it's Otis turn setting up for his finisher. No, not not yet, not yet. It's Otis goes into the snap bear, and so far it has all been again. What, why, why do I even try? As Otis now setting up and connects with the world's strongest slam. You damn right. As Otis goes into cover and again Angelo Dawkins with the breakup. Beautiful drop kick by Angelo Dawkins. And again, trying to go for his finisher again. That's nice reversal by Ford. It's my test now setting up. And again, double X smash to the back. And now it's my test for referee out of position. Looking like an idiot as always. And again, just a quick one count. Kick to the back. That's my test. Picks Otis back up and into another DDT. And again, trying to get the advantage again. It's four in the corner. And the tag is made back to Angelo Dawkins. And what is Spine Buster and a Frog Splash connects. And that is all over as the NXT champions retain and a kick out. And now the momentum is back on the Street Profits side. Um, Angelo, you, are you going to do something about it? This ain't no time for, you know, damn cups and stirring. Alrighty then, well, I, I, I guess we just broke the Street Profits in 2K19. That's, that's fantastic and connects with the spear. And another spear. Just spears left and right. And again. Angelo Dawkins. And what a right hand shot taken down. One half a heavy machinery. And again into a snap DDT. And again has all been. Street Profits. At this juncture. And again what a tag team match. It has been. As Dawkins now connects and make the tag again. And here we go. Into the Spine Buster. And connects with the Frog Splash. And then it's all over. And the NXT Tag Team Champions retain. And another kick out. And again, you have to give resiliency to Otis. Good reversal. And a close line ticking down Montez Ford. It's now Otis. Trying to get complete control of this match again. And what a hip toss across the damn ring. And again, trying to go for something and into another DDT. Why is everybody DDT heavy? As Ford now connects with the elbow drop. And again, what is Montez Ford going to do? Setting up. Ah, uh, here we go again. And another DDT. And I think that busted Otis wide open. And again, it has all been Street Profits. It's Montez Ford. Climbing up to the top rope. What is he going for? And connects with a frog splash. And it is all over. One, two, and Tucker with the breakup. And 
again. What a spin and heel kick. And this time ticking down. I, I say that and then here comes the reversal. Again, the tag is made back to Angelo Dawkins. Let's see what they are going to do. And a beautiful double hip toss. And again, it's all been Street Profits at this moment. Again, I say that now and then a nice reversal. As Otis setting up, going for the world's strongest slam again. Yes, that's what I call it because that's what it is. Damn right, somebody's going to get their ass kicked. Maybe the Wii slid. And into the cover. Two. And again, another kick out. And again, it's the momentum turning for heavy machinery. Again, stomped to the back. That's again. Good reversal by Angelo Dawkins. And again, a toss back into the Street Profits corner. And again, a nice reversal by Otis. And now it's Otis' turn. And down goes the referee. That's what I'm talking about. We, we need more people to do that. And just a push and a shove and into the cover and referee back into position and just a long one count. Kick to the back, keeping down Angelo Dawkins. And what a wrestling takedown reversal by the NXT, well, one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions and a shoulder block taking down Angelo Dawkins yet again. And again, Attacking the knee in the area. And again, the tag is made back to Tucker. It's Tucker now is, I think, what is he doing? Just looking menacingly. And again, Tucker setting up for that overhead belly to belly. Yet again. And it connects. And Tucker about to go into the cover. There we go, and referee in perfect position. One, two, three, and it is all over. I don't know what Montez Ford was doing, but again, we have new NXT Tag Team Champions. A hard fought victory. But again, we have new NXT Tag Team Champions in Heavy Machinery. And again, just confusion by the Street Profits as we will be right back with more of NXT TakeOver New Orleans. The NXT Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Ricochet versus Drew Gulak. We are back on TakeOver New Orleans, and I think it's time. No, not, not hammer time. It's ricochet time. Because, I mean, that man has played an impact since debuting back in November. And again, the rivalry between him and Jeff Hardy was absolutely phenomenal. But now it's time for him. Will he step up? Will he finally capture the NXT Cruiserweight Championship? After defeating Drew Gulak last week on NXT, can he make it two in a row? But going ahead of the main event, I really don't know what edge or who he is defending against. And I think because it's developmental, you know, you have veterans and legends in the game still, like Edge, like Christian. You know, Jeff Hardy is another contender. You know, I wonder who will be, you know, the face of NXT moving forward. But again, th this is all about the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. And can Ricochet yet again win and become the NXT Cruiserweight Champion?
again one of the most technical people on the WWE brand as a whole the NXT Cruiserweight Champion Drew Gulak and you know being a Cruiserweight you know we we see that it is high flying it is all over the place uh, dealing with Drew Gulak it is none of it you know it's more technical it's more grounded in submissions this is a champion this is somebody that we have to look out in the near future Introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! Introducing the champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds. He is the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Drew Gulak. This dude's always mean mugging. All right, well, nonetheless, this is what it's all about. This should be a fantastic match. Drew Gulak, Ricochet. As the referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And what a slap starting off the match. Again, that boy ain't playing, I'm telling you. Nice close line by Drew Gulak, and a close line to the back of the head. And I mean, the foreseeing of what's to come dealing with the track and sleeper. Not punched to the gut by Ricochet, connects with a calf kick. What a standing moonsault taking down, or keep it down rather, the NXT Cruiserweight Champion. I'm telling you, just me mugging and into the crucifix. Just a shame it wasn't a pin variation. As Gulak now goes and connects with the on bar, and again just starting things off. Nice roll out the ring, back to the inside of the ring. We are not sure what is referee again. You haven't. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me what the man. Anyway, nice elbow by Drew Gulak, and he goes back to the arm in the arm bar. And again, in the early going, it has all been Gulak. Nice reversal by Ricochet with the leg sweep, kick to the back, and again another kick to the shoulder blade area. What a backbreaker by Ricochet. And now it's Drew Gulak's turn. In and out. Back out and in the ring. And there we go. Into the cross face. And will Ricochet tap out? It's Ricochet now getting out of that cross face. Trying to go for a close line. And Ricochet now throws Gulak into the turnbuckle. Nice reversal again. And Drew Gulak in complete control. And what a throw. Kind of sensing some uh, nightmare throws. And again, what a stomp to the face. That's Gulak now. I was going to say, trying to get complete control. And then a nice leg sweep by Ricochet. It's Ricochet now. And into a, a domino stretch. And again, will the NXT Cruiserweight Champion tap out as Ricochet just let him go? I don't know what's going on. Nice reversal by Drew Gulak. As Gulak now. And a kick to the arm. And again, just the wear and tear of the arm, the knee, and into that electric drop into a queen suplex. And again, that's awesome. And again, connecting with that capture suplex. As Drew Gulak 
about to go into the cover, will he retain the NXT Cruiserweight Championship in a very long one count? As Gulak now setting up for his finisher, will it be the Dragon Sleeper yet again? Trying to go for it, I'm not, I'm not sure what, what happened, but good reversal by Ricochet. As Ricochet now into the Flatliner. And now it's Ricochet's turn into the cover. And a two count. A short two, but a two count nonetheless. And again, just setting Ricochet up for that 630. I'm, I'm telling you right now, if Ricochet gets the 630 and on Drew Gulak, it is all over as Gulak now goes into a single leg Boston Crab. Will Ricochet tap out again? It's Ricochet now. And again, the leg string getting out of that. Punch to the back, multiple shots to the back and back into the grapple. It's Ricochet now, head first into the turnbuckle. Good counter by Drew Gulak, and what a right hand punch. And here comes the NXT Cruiserweight Champion with the clothesline from the second rope. And what a reversal by Ricochet. And he's getting, what a big boot taking down Ricochet. As Gulak now trying to go for something. Good reversal by Ricochet. And again, back into the grapple. Again, going back into the cross face. And again, is that a rope break? Oh no, that's not realistic at all. You know you can't rope break. Into the RKO. And down goes the referee. I like it. I'm a fan of Ricochet as of right now. Ticking down. Going for a shooting star press. And Drew Gulak reverses with knees and the double chop taking down Ricochet. But not having none of that. It's Drew Gulak now. Throws Ricochet into the ropes. And again, referees just getting beat up and I'm loving every moment of it. Nice uppercut by Ricochet. As he goes into the cover. And just another short one count. And again, like I said before, it is the 630 versus the Dragon Sleeper. And a suplex into a power bomb. And that's not a pin? Alrighty then. And now Ricochet. Again, back up to the apron. Back up on the top rope. Is he going for the 630? Trying to go for an elbow drop in. Drew Gulak gets out the way. And again, Gulak back into the to the grapple. And again, just using a hot shot off the ropes. As Gulak goes back into the cover. One, two, and again another kick out. And again, what a what a match it has been. As again, Gulak setting up for another capture suplex. And it is all said and done as Gulak is he setting up for the Dragon Sleeper? No. And a short drop kick to the face. And now, here he goes setting up for the Dragon Sleeper. And it should be all over. And the Dragon Sleeper connects. And whoa, Ricochet tap out. As Ricochet fighting to get it out of the Dragon Sleeper. Good reversal getting out of that. I actually thought it was going to be a pin. And again... Into another flatliner. And here goes Ricochet. Climbing up on the top rope. Is this it? It's Ricochet. Go for the 630 and it connects. Cover that man. Cover him. You have him beat. As Ricochet goes into the cover. One. Two. Three. And it is all over. We have a new NXT Cruiserweight Champion. And what a match it was.
Again, congratulations to the new NXT Cruiserweight Champion, as well as the new NXT Tag Team Champions in Heavy Machinery, and a new Women's NXT Champion in Crystal Platinum. And again, what would be 4 for 4? As this is your main event of the evening, Christian going one on one against his best friend, his brother, Edge. I mean, the battles that both him and Edge been through, you know, dealing with TLC matches, dealing with ladder matches, you know, Christian being his own man, you know, becoming the ECW champion, becoming the world heavyweight champion after Edge retired for the first time in WWE. And again, his pasture is going over in TNA. Yes, I said TNA. I'm a historian. I'll go there, all right? But again, this match is under extreme rules, which means you can use anything. Again, this is probably the majority of what my universe mode is all about. But nonetheless, I don't know. I think we might need to change that for the next season of WWE 2K Universe Mode, at least my version of it. And again, really need to change the structure of WWE as a whole. But nonetheless, this is, again, your main event of the evening, Christian versus Edge. You think you know me. You think you know me. You think you know me, sorry. Sorry, just reminiscing. But again, here is your NXT Champion Edge. And again, going through a few people, going through people like Mustafa Ali. Fantastic, phenomenal match. We also see him go through Jeff Hardy and Shinsuke Nakamura. And again, just being a leader of the locker room, being a leader of the NXT brand. And again, the history of these two brothers, if you will. See, just pulling Dusty's all over the place. But again, the history, and again, they actually had a match back in Unforgiven of 2001 in the latter match for the Intercontinental Championship. Again, we have come to your main event of the evening. This is all about the NXT World Heavyweight Championship, Christian versus Edge. And I made a few mistakes with, with me being a historian and all. More than in a second, as the referee gets ready to call for the bell. And here we go. Dealing with Edge and Christian and the history between these two. Again, that unforgiven Edge versus Christian, but their ladder match actually happened at no mercy so again just clean some things up right here but in the early going it is edge in position to win the nxt championship good reversal by edge getting out of that and again all the referee has to do is just count the victory and then call for the submission nice knee to the gut Trying to go for a close line, but Christian gets out the way. And again, nice forearm as Christian going to two and setting up for a neck breaker. And again, a nice elbow to the face. 
and again kept the charisma and complete control of this early going and a beautiful headbutt as Christian goes into the cover two and just a quick two count get first pinfall of the match I, I say that now and here comes the rated R superstar close line taken down uh, I'm guessing the number one contender as Edge exits the ring Again, going underneath for a weapon. I mean, no disqualifications, no counters. Christian, again, not looking for a weapon. As of yet, but hit first into the apron. As again, Christian is on his game and setting up with a reverse DDT. And again, just a classic stable of Christian as a whole. As both competitors are in the inside of the ring. And again, setting up for the unprettier. The original unprettier. And it connects. And again, we will have a new NXT champion as Christian goes to the referee. What the hell are you doing? I'm going to super kick the shit out of that, man. Man, that, that referee, he, he going to get it. And what a slap by Christian. Good throw into Rose. Trying to go for a diving elbow. And Edge rolls out the way. And again, attacking the leg. I'm not sure. I guess it's good strategy. And Edge set it up. And connects with a gut buster. I mean, it wasn't a high one like Drew Gulak in that Battle Royal on SmackDown. But still, as Edge now in position. And connects with a beautiful flapjack. And again, just getting the momentum back on his side as the rated all superstar is in complete control right now of this match. Again, I keep saying that and then reversals happen. And a nice reversal by Edge. As Edge now back into position. And oh shit! And what a shot by Edge. And again, just attacking the head of Christian. And just a quick one count. Jeez. Again, very scary for Christian. As Edge now in position. And connects with the execution. As Edge now setting up. No. No, he goes underneath the ring for a weapon. Again, this is extreme rules. Anything goes. As Edge now pulls out a table. Again, Christian getting his bearings back together. Trying to go for a spear and it kinda connects? Really? Okay. And Edge now just all confused on what to do. Set enough for the official spear, the Edge spear. And the spear connects. And it is all over. And the NXT champion retains two and a kick out. And again, Edge all fired up again. Momentum is on his side. And here comes the Rated R Superstar. Connects with a second close line. And into the face buster. And I think that opened Christian right up. And again, just chucking the man out. Again, setting up for that execution yet again. As Edge goes back into the cover. Two. And again, another kick out. And again, it has all been Edge. What do you want? Good reversal by Christian. As Christian now. Setting up. And position. And going for the Unprettier again. And the Unprettier connects. As Christian goes back into the cover. Referee trying to get into position. Two. Three. And we have a new NXT champion Christian. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Obi-Wan. Thank you for NXT TakeOver. We will see you next time.